because cases are skyrocketing right at Christmas time again, we want to dig a little deeper on how people can stay safe at all of those holiday gatherings. So joining us now is Dr. Angelique Campen. She's an emergency room physician at Providence St. Joseph Medical Center in Burbank. Thanks so much for joining us, doctor. You're very welcome. Well, we want to really focus on holiday gatherings for people still having them. What precautions should they be taking? Well, I'll tell you what I do in my household to keep people safe. Everyone that is going to join us does a rapid test as they enter my home. Uh, the rapid tests, as you just heard, are not as um, reliable as the PCRs, but they are better than nothing. And they give you results in about 10 minutes. The other thing though to think about is if you have someone at your home that is very high risk, do you even want to take that chance and gather? Because there's always the chance that these tests can be a false negative. Well, talking about the timing for people, how soon before traveling should they get tested? Well, the incubation of Omicron is about three days. So from three days of exposure, you you will start to show symptoms. So if you've had a PCR test uh, one or two days before traveling, you can feel confident that you are negative. All right, but what if you have a mix of people at your gathering? We're talking about vaccinated, unvaccinated, and boosted. How do people handle those guests? So in my household, if you are unvaccinated, that puts you in the high risk category. So that means that you need to wear a mask to protect yourself. And that's how we handle it in my household. We also try to limit the number of guests. So tonight is just my immediate family. Okay. You know, we are seeing a number of breakthrough cases with Omicron. Given that, is it okay to ask guests to show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test or maybe even both? Well, I'll tell you, this is not the time to be polite. This is a life or death issue. I can't tell you how many people I take care of in the emergency department that get really, really sick with coronavirus and say, gosh, I didn't think that, it, that I would get this sick. I didn't think it would affect me like this. And so this is a very important issue and something that you really need to think carefully about. You know, so often we've been lucky enough to be able to enjoy meals outside, especially for the other holidays, but Christmas is gonna be cold and rainy. So your advice to people about eating a meal together, does opening a door or window really make a difference? Well, even though it spreads by droplet through the air, it's, you're not going to catch it from being inside the room with someone. Really, the way you catch it is the same way you catch a common cold, with your hands. Hmm. So people that have good hand hygiene, meaning wash your hands frequently, use those hand sanitizers. Anytime you touch a surface, you will stay safe and keep your hands away from your eyes and your nose. That's where you get a virus. All right, Dr. Campen, thank you so much. And uh, Dr. Campen will be back a little later on CBS News at 530 to discuss more traveling safety over the holidays. So make sure to tune in for